Mechagardening.com. The Brill Razor Cut 38 is a German push reel mower, and it's probably the best engineered reel mower that you're going to find anywhere. When you receive the mower, the body will be fully assembled, but the handle will come in a few pieces. Now all you have to do is put those pieces together. It doesn't require any tools. It just takes a few minutes, and then you attach that handle to the body of the mower. At just 17 pounds, the Brill is small and lightweight, so it's easy to store just about anywhere. You can even hang it on a hook in your garage if you want to save a little space. One of the nicest features about this Brill mower is the superior handle design. Uh, you've got a nice solid piece of metal here. It's also really easy to assemble this handle, as I've mentioned before. So with this really thick, stiff handle, you're going to get really good power transfer between you and the mower when you're pushing it. The Razor Cut is the newest version of the Brill push mower, and one of the coolest features that they added was this plastic hood on top, which goes back further than ever before, and it deflects more of the grass clippings as they get cut, which prevents them from going onto your shoes. Uh, it also helps them go into the grass catcher a little better when you have the grass catcher attached. The Brill has a cutting range from 14 millimeters to 45 millimeters. Now, in inches, that means that it cuts at just over half an inch, I think it's 0.7 inches, to a maximum of uh, 1.8 inches, which for all practical purposes is about 2 inches. Now, 2 inches is well within the cutting range, the recommended cutting range of almost every type of grass. So it's going to be high enough for most of your grasses. It's really easy to adjust the cutting height on the Brill. All you have to do is turn both these orange knobs on either side, adjust so that the uh, cutting height matches on both sides, tighten it back down, and you're ready to go. Now, the Brill has a cutting width of 38 centimeters. That's why it's called the Brill Razor Cut 38. That 38 stands for the 38 centimeter width cut. Uh, 38 centimeters is right around 15 inches, so it's, you're going to get about 15 inches width with every pass of the mower. The Brill works well on most types of grasses. However, there are three types of grasses that it doesn't do so well on. Bermuda, St. Augustine, and Zoysia. Now, these three types of grasses are mostly found in the southern half of the United States. You might have noticed that my grass right here is St. Augustine, and we do show some footage of mowing the Brill through the St. Augustine. And it does work, but right now it's early in the season. Uh, Later, when you get into the middle of the summer, when St. Augustine starts to grow in really thick, it becomes really a challenge to push it through. And that's why a different type of mower, like a Scots Classic or a Deluxe Light or something like that, is going to work better with a St. Augustine, Bermuda, or Zoysia grass. The Brill has five blades, which is the optimal number of blades for most types of grass. Now, one cool thing about the Brill is that it has flame-hardened welded steel blades. Now, flame-hardened steel is much harder than a tempered alloy that most other real mowers have. So this combined with the fact that the Brill has a silent cut design where the blades don't make contact with the cutter bar but they miss by just less than a millimeter and so they cut the grass like scissors, that means you're going to get eight to ten years life out of the blades before you'll need to sharpen them. Uh, after one or two years you might want to adjust the blades on the Brill but that's really simple. You see that there's just two spring-loaded bolts right here that keep the cutter bar in adjustment, and all you need to do is tighten or loosen those to get them right back in adjustment, and then you're ready to go for another year or two. In summary, the Brill push reel mower weighs just 17 pounds. It's got flame-hardened welded steel blades. It's German engineered, and it's a really nice push reel mower that's probably the best mower that you're gonna find. Why don't you give it a try?